Hey everyone, Mrs. Twig here. Today I'm going to be showing you the unboxing of my mail-in ballot. Let's get started. In Pennsylvania, you have until October 19th to register to vote and until the 27th to request your mail-in ballot at 5 p.m. that day. So I requested this online and I just received it yesterday and I'm super excited. Let's get started. All right. So first step, make sure you don't lose any of these papers. They all are very important. First thing that you should look for are the instructions, right? So we get um, a little paper. It is in English and Spanish. It gives us the instructions for how to vote. Make sure that you read these carefully. If you do not follow the directions, your vote might not be counted. So right at the top, it says ballots need to be received by the county board of elections no later than 8 p.m. on election day. So whether you're mailing it or dropping it off, it needs to be received by then. Carefully read and follow all the instructions. Mark your ballot in secret using blue or black ink to fill in the oval next to the candidate's name. So just like we're taking a Scantron in school or um, like the Keystones, you're using blue or black ink not a highlighter, not a pencil. You're not circling things. You're filling in the bubbles. You guys are pros at that. You'll, you'll be fine. Don't make any extra marks on your ballot. If you make a mistake, let them know. Don't overvote. Don't vote for more than one person per question. That makes sense. After completing your ballot, refold it, place it in the envelope that says official election ballot and securely seal it. Don't write anything on that envelope. And then place that one in the, um, in the larger voters declaration envelope. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a minute. Um, and then fill out date and sign the voter declaration. Return it by mail or by hand delivery and it needs to be returned by you, the voter. All right, those are our instructions. Let's get to the fun part. All right, this is the ballot. Just one piece of paper, look at that. So this is where you are going to be making your choices. So you can see we have first and foremost, the one that everyone is excited for, the president and vice president. So again, you're filling in those bubbles depending on who you would like in blue or black ink. Then we have other local offices. So this will be different depending on where you live, but some statewide elections on the back, we have more local elections as well, based on what district you live in. And then some ballot questions. These are usually also more local, so they might be about your city charter or some questions about that. All right, those you're filling out yes or no for. That's the ballot, that's it. So once you've filled this out in blue or black ink, you're gonna fold it back up and place it in this mostly white envelope. This is your secrecy envelope. It says official election ballot on it. This is really important that you put your ballot in this envelope first and seal it. In Pennsylvania, they're not accepting ballots that are not in this envelope. So make sure you do this, it's very important. Once you have sealed that, you're gonna put it in the outer envelope. This is the one that has the return address on it to send it back to the election office. And so you put it in there and seal that. Your double envelope in this one, two envelopes. You can see on the back here is the last thing you need to do, the voter's declaration. So here you're just signing, putting your name and date and information saying, yep, I'm the one who filled this out. Um, if you do not do this, your vote might not be counted. So make sure you do that. So once you have your ballot, you put it in the secrecy envelope. Secrecy envelope goes in the main envelope. And then you can either mail it in or drop it off at a drop box or your county election office. All right, the only other thing in here is this little packet of papers which is an explanation of the ballot questions. So again, these are probably local based on your city charter, um, just to get a little bit more information about it and what you might be voting on. All right, that's my ballot. Make sure you follow all of the instructions. Um, I am going to go research my candidates, 
make my final decisions and mark my ballot and mail it in. Make sure that if you are voting by mail-in ballot, you get it in as soon as you can. Don't wait. Vote now so that your vote is counted. All right, everyone, have a wonderful day and go vote.